So in some of my previous videos, we've looked at how I laid out uh, various different article types that I do on my blogs. I think we looked at how I do my, how I lay out my top five affiliate articles, how I lay out my listicles. I'm going to show you another type of article that I frequently write or have outsourced and how I like that laid out and how I've found that it performs best for me. I think the guys at Income School call it a response post, so uh, that may be what you know this by. But what they basically are is just a keyword in the form of a question that someone types into Google, and what we do is just answer that question in great detail and then answer any related questions so that it becomes a complete article. These are typically fairly long, so you would refer to these as long tail keywords. And a lot of times they can also be pretty low competition as well. With these types of articles, the main goal for me is to grab the Google snippet while also providing a well-formatted, well-written, and just generally helpful article so with that said, let's jump straight into my computer and take a look at an example keyword that I've already chosen for this video. Okay, so as you can see, the example keyword I've chosen is do cats whiskers grow back? And if we move over here to the search, we can see that it's actually a pretty large keyword in terms of search volume, 5,400 a month. And then if we do this all in title operator here on it. We can see that it only has 77 results in the SERPs, which is kind of on the low end considering how big it is. And another indicator that this might be worth going for is the snippet, the current snippet is not the question. How do, or I'm sorry, do cats' whiskers grow back? The snippet is, how do cats' whiskers work? That's not the same thing. Another indicator is down here, do a cat's whiskers grow back? This is a Quora post, so this is user-generated content. This is usually low-quality content and is a good sign that we can probably rank for it. Uh, one bad sign is that PetMD is in the SERP, so anything to do, uh, and this is across any topic really, if you see any type of high authority medical sites in the SERP, that can be a bad sign. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to, I wouldn't just totally avoid this just because of this one result, because everything else here indicates to me that this is definitely worth going for, especially since it's high volume. Now it might take this uh, several months, maybe even as long as a year before we got on the first page and actually grabbed this snippet, but you've got to plant these seeds early and move along and plant the next one. So with all that being said, we've got our title in here. So I'm just going to start at the top and kind of do an over-the-shoulder deal here and just let you sh see my normal process, how I would do this if I was about to pass this off to a writer. So we start with our intro section. That's always going to be about 100 words or so. Contains primary keyword. So what we'll do is we're just going to replace everything with lorem ipsum text. That's going to be the easiest way. So let's see how much this is. About 91. So that's perfect. So what we would do is we would work in the keyword. Do cats, whiskers, grow back. Now obviously we would work it in in a way that it sounds natural, but I'm just doing this for example. Okay, now the first H2 would also be the primary keyword.
and just under this is where I put my answer target. Answer summary, and this is what grabs the snippet. This is what we want Google to see. We want Google to see this subheading and then immediately under it, a concise answer. So this is what we want to have uh, for the snippet. So again, let's just put this right here, but, and I'm just gonna make this up. So I don't know if this is accurate. Cats. Whiskers do grow back, but only in the springtime and if the cat is not in heat. Aside from that, a cat's whiskers never grow back. And then I would bold this. So again, I don't know if this is correct. It's probably way off and, you know, not right at all. But this is basically what I would do. Now, so we have, this is a fairly simple question, right? So we can't really write a whole article answering just this question. So we're going to have to branch off into some related topics. So now that we have done this, introduced the article, Got our answer summary here and maybe another little paragraph here. We're going to start adding some related subheadings. And what I'll usually do is start looking here under people also ask. So our topic is do they grow back? So this is a perfect one. How long does it take for a cat's whiskers to grow back? And you want to group these together so the hierarchy kind of makes sense. So this to me would go as an H3 under this H2. How long does it take? Uh, what happened? Okay, so we will answer that. Then I like to just put a little divider there, kind of breaking up the sections. So now we need another H2. So what could we do? <clears throat> you know, I always see these for pets. It's amazing what people Google these days. Okay. Do cat whiskers grow back if pulled out? Okay. So actually, I'm going to sneak this in as another H3, actually. And then that here. And usually, just to keep things how I actually like them, I like short sentences and short paragraphs. So I would typically break these up. All right, so now we've got uh, our main H2 that has the primary keyword along with two H3s underneath it. So let's see what else we can find here. Okay, I feel like this one may deserve to go in there as well because it is asking a similar question just in a different way. So that in there. Okay, so see now we have gotten an intro, our first H2 along with three H3 subheadings and we're already at five hundred words. Okay, so we do another one of these sections and that's in my opinion a complete article. Okay, let's see. How long does it take for a whiskers, a cat's whiskers to grow back? So that, did we have that in there? Yeah, so we got that one. Uh, 
Okay, here's a good one. This is whisker related. Do cats get more whiskers as they age? And just so you know, I don't always pay the attention to search volume on these subheadings. Sometimes I do, but not always. Okay, so this could be another H2. And often by the time I'm finished laying out this uh, article for the first time, laying out, you know, making this layout, I'll often change it, rearrange things, and uh, make sure that I have all of the headings and subheadings where I want them to go in the end. Okay, and as you click on these, more relevant ones will pop up. So, do cats whiskers change with age? So that could go under this one. Okay, I like this one. Is it okay to trim my cat's whiskers? So let's say we were done with that section and created a new section starting with this H2 subheading. And really in all of these, H, under all of these H2s, I might have a answer target like this one because we have the potential to get the snippet in every single one of these. Anywhere on the page, it has the potential to get the snippet. So I try to give these concise, direct answers anywhere I can. Okay. Let's see here. So we are already at 750 words. Can a cat's whiskers be too long? So that looks like it could go under this one. Yeah, so this is a prime candidate to be a H3 under this H2. Right. Okay, I, I think you get the idea here. So, and then I always wrap up these uh, response type posts with a conclusion, or you may want to call it uh, wrap up or even uh, summary. And so we'll have a paragraph or two here, but the main thing we want to accomplish here is insert the keyword one more time. So Okay, so if, if you came here looking for an answer to the question, do cat's whiskers grow back, then we hope we've answered your question. I really don't like that. I don't like how it sounds, but I'm doing this on the fly. Uh, so I just want, want you to get an idea of a way to work this in. Work the keyword in one more time. Yeah, so in the summary, I want to have the keyword inserted one more time. So we generally have it once up here, once in the H2. Maybe once more in the body here. Just where wherever you can work it in, you know, because we want it to sound natural. So wherever you can work it in. And then again, in the summary. And uh, we want to kind of uh, just reiterate or basically summarize what we've gone over so far make sure that the reader got their info here. And then if we want to do any external linking, I also like to do it in this summary section or near the bottom because I don't want anyone to encounter an external link up here and then immediately bounce off my article. 
So if, if I'm going to do any external linking, I like to do it down here. Okay, so that's, you know, we're at 880 words and this has taken me almost 20 minutes. So I think normally about 15 or 20 minutes to lay out an article is pretty reasonable for me. Yeah, that's about it, guys. It's just a matter of answering a question and then answering a bunch of other related questions. That's pretty much it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you found some value here. Be sure and like this video if you found it helpful. Leave me a comment down in the comment section if you have any questions or anything. And be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.